All right, I'm sure you felt it when you filled up right now. Gas is the most expensive it has ever been in the United States. And you may be thinking about possibly different ways to start saving some money. Hey, but what about cutting it out completely? Is it time to get an electric vehicle? Yeah, tonight, KPRC 2's Joel Eisenbaum weighs the pros and the cons in the current climate. How expensive is gas right now? It really, really hurts. A lot of money. A lot? A lot of money. Ridiculous right now. It's getting just a wee bit expensive now to fill up the tank, isn't it? So why even bother with the tank? Uh-huh. Gasoline's up to 319. Nan Hildreth wants to save the planet. Gasoline motors are dinosaurs. We've all got friends like Nan, but she's also got a practical point. She never stops at a gas station. She fills up at home for pennies on the dollar. I think we are going to see more and more people uh, switch to electric vehicles because of gas prices. Bill Fulton studies this sort of stuff at Rice University's Kinder Institute. He says one of the barriers to mass adoption of electric vehicles is upfront costs. So electrics are still a non-starter for a lot of families. Electric vehicles are still quite expensive. So to switch to an electric vehicle is probably beyond their means. So if they're going to buy a new car, they're going to buy another gas powered car even with the higher gas price. But longtime electric vehicle owner Shanoop Katari says don't be short-sighted. Realize what you won't be paying for when you own an electric vehicle. Whether gas is four dollars or three dollars or two fifty a gallon, the economics are so compelling. So no maintenance and um, I think it might be ten to twelve dollars of electricity um, you know, a, a month that's that's being used to charge a vehicle. So what's it going to take to get you charged up about going electric? If it's price, according to Edmunds.com, these are the three cheapest new electric cars in the U.S. by MSRP. The sticker. They're all smallish and have ranges that may or may not get you to Dallas. Not quite sure about that, Nan. It's not practical for everyone yet. Not yet, no. Tax breaks are tricky, too. The Nissan and the Mini come with $7,500 Uncle Sam tax credits. That's a game changer. But the Chevy does not include that sweetener because GM's used up its tax credit allotment. So is Tesla. So do your homework before you buy. Look, a few years ago, the alternative, as you mentioned, um, to a, a combustion engine car, electric, you know, that delta was pretty wide. That delta's coming down. Navigating the tax credit deal with electric vehicles has gotten kind of tricky, but don't worry, we're plugged in. And you can find that info at click2houston.com slash investigates. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.